This is the Bengal Tiger Unicorn Spit Throwing Axe video. So I've done a test with this. Uh, this is Alumilite Dye and Unicorn Spit. I don't make the names. Uh, I just use the product. So going to try to replicate this pattern on this handle. Now let me explain what's going on here. So we can see, see all these little holes? Those are pores. They're, they're hollow. On red oak, you could actually blow through those and have air come out the other side. Those are the same pores that we're seeing here that's filled in with the unicorn spit. And then the orange is dyed with alumilite dye and uh, isopropyl alcohol. So it's about 85 degrees in my shop right now, and this stuff dries really fast, okay? And it, when it dries, it turns kind of chalky. So all I'm going to do is get a fair amount of unicorn spit on there, and then take a little cotton pad, and I'm just going to work it in there really good. I want to fill all those little cavities up. Wipe off some of the excess, let it dry real good. It's dried for about 30 minutes, feels dry to the touch. And I'm gonna take this sanding block and, and sand off uh, the, the surface and we'll be leaving the unicorn spit in those like I was saying. So this handle is actually octagoned. So it's flat and this should be a pretty simple Simple process. So that would probably look pretty decent if we just left it at that, but uh, we're going for this here. All right, so next up, I'm going to clean this up, and then we'll, we'll apply the uh, orange alumilite. So if you're wondering, this is the 600 gram Prandy Rhineland pattern. So they call it their German pattern. Now, I stripped the paint on this already and I applied Presto Black, so that's an, that's an acid wash very similar to uh, a, a gun bluing, a cold blue solution. So that's what that is. These heads are cheap, they're great. I really like them. All right, so I believe this is orange. I couldn't find the bottle, but this is exactly what it is right here. So that's the Alumilite dye. Uh, this one's just red. So I don't know how many drops I put in uh, to make this, I don't, I don't remember the, the mixture. So, all right. 
right? So the more coats you put on it, the, the more color comes out. So whether, I'm not sure if this is a, a pigment based dye that the Illumilite is. Uh, and you could probably use food coloring, I would imagine. Um, you could use all kinds of stuff, right? So what got me on this was I had done a laminated palm swell with a burl. And when I was sanding the burl down with 400 grit, it was getting in all of these pores. And it was, I believe that it was at Black's 187 axe. And it was black oak burl and it got in all the pores of this ash. And I, I left it there. I could have blown it all out, but I left it in there. And when I put the, the linseed oil over the top, it, it, it encapsulated it and it gave it a really really nice look i don't i don't really prefer the the look of uh, fire burned uh, handles um, i suppose if you do a cool design or something it'd be cool but So I'll just leave this to dry for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour or so. Uh, it's like I said, it's made out of, this mixture is made out of isopropyl alcohol, so it should evaporate pretty quick. And then we might sand it and then we'll put a clear coat on it and then hang it. 400 grit and I'm just going to very lightly, very lightly sand this. I don't want to bring up any of the the raw wood color I just want to get some of those some of those fibers that got raised up from being wet uh, sanded down real gently before before I put the clear coat on it I can see on the edge that it's starting to get some of the the raw wood coming through All right, let's see. Let's see what this is going to look like. I think I'm going to clear coat this and then hang it. I don't think I'm going to tape it off, tape off the head and uh so I sprayed it off camera outside with this right here. And I think I probably put about 4 or 5 coats on until it finally sealed up um and I, uh, in between the fourth and the fifth coat, I sanded it down with uh, 400 grit again. So I've never lacquered the tongue before I hung it. And we're going to see how it goes. I think it should slide on just fine. But yeah, this is the stuff I used. Uh, it dries fast. It's got a good shine to it. There's no run. I'm, I'm liking this. So as we can see, it turned out pretty good of course the the grain is well the grain is different on this one so there's there's less black lines running through this but I would have to say that I'm really happy with this I'm yeah certainly it's kind of like a Halloween hatchet huh it's going to be a nice little thrower. So I'm definitely going to try, I think I want to try a dark purple. Uh, probably do a pink for the ladies. And I'm really liking this. So I'm going to hang this um, in another video. And I'm going, to, I'm going to do, I don't know, give a couple tips on how to get a good clean hang. I'm finally getting to the point to where I can make it look clean and I can make it look pretty. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a good day.